wherever you are at, whatever journey you are going through, whatever pain you are going through, just always remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Be very honest <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> You gotta yeah. start from somewhere. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, it was, and probably that silently made you be curious until you found your yeah. thing. Hi, everybody! Welcome to another edition of Dubai Diastories. My name is Yvette Kikuyu, your self-proclaimed storyteller here in the UAE. On this platform, we aim to educate, empower, and entertain through amazing, inspiring stories of people who are movers and shakers across different industries, talents, and so much more. Today in studio, hmm, I mean, I mean, if you have eyes, you can see for yourself. Is this the regular America you people are used to seeing? I don't think so. She's a lady who says she's shy. But one thing that I like about her shyness is that she does not need to explain, 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 explain. Because she get evidence. Oh, Ma. Midas touch. Her hand is her artistry. She can transform you into a body. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Look at the face, honey. <laughs> face card is not declining today. In studio, I have the one... The only, the Amada, the one who made it possible and paved the way. My favorite mwah, makeup artist, Flair by Winnie in the building. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Thank you so much. This hype. <laughs> no, sis, receive your flowers. Okay, receive I your them. flowers. Okay. Receive them. Receive them. Yeah, Double thank toilet you so for your much. head. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, like I was looking at my face after you did it. I was like, so what do I do? What do I do when I say I'm doing makeup? I'm doing rubbish. No, it, it's not that bad. <laughs> ha! No, 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 no. Your own. Mm. Anyways, everybody has their market too, you know? So thank you so much for coming on my platform today. I have followed your journey for years. You know that I think since you moved here, yeah. you came on my discovery page and I just liked your work and consistently I've seen you grow and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Upwards onwards. Thank you so much. How's your week been? It's been great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. Nice, nice. So what are you up to? Any highlights? Mm, okay, so the highlight for this week is this show. Oh yes, for real, because um I've just been going to work as usual, but mm -hmm. um I've never done something like this. So this Aww. is really my highlight for the week. Nice. And probably the entire September. <laughs> for real, yeah. Oh, I'd like to hear that. I'm glad we've made it in September to remember. Yeah. And thank you because now, after this, I have to go somewhere. This face cannot sleep like mm -mm. this. As you, you definitely uh, have to go. We have you to have to, to show people this I, makeup. I cannot sleep until <laughs> people have seen me today. As they, Excuse me. One time for the gram. Mm. Mm. Yes. You know, you know, one thing about my makeup is that after every bit people mm. get an attitude <laughs> yeah they develop this attitude that because <laughs> you turn them into a body exactly <laughs> yes nice and you know one thing about your makeup as well i know this is something that maybe you would not say for yourself but every time when i read your testimonials it's always like seven hours later nine hours later i've been dancing i went to a wedding my makeup is still intact wow Wow, Winnie, that 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 is that says a lot because there's some makeup that I've been seeing in this heat of Dubai. <laughs> ah, you cannot, you cannot. <laughs> Let me not even just say it. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers. But anyway, um, as usual on this platform, we aim to learn. I guess for you, I wanna start from the biningi ningi, from the fa 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 this. <laughs> you always cracking me up. <laughs> <laughs> when did you fall in love with makeup? Who? Okay. Ah, let me see properly. This is just too <laughs> sweet. This is just... Okay. Um, I would say as far back as when I was very young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember um, one time I literally shaved off my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I was so curious about makeup. I'll, I remember I'll see my elder sister okay. shave off her eyebrows and then use this... Um, burgundy or wine color pencil Almost after she has shaved off her eyebrows then she'll draw the brows <laughs> i don't know if you guys can remember far back yes the way the back then for billionaire <laughs> so <Oma Shikaji, laughs> spending your money those one line exactly makeup. i remember so that makeup that very well built um curiosity and 
I was like, okay, let me do the same thing. Maybe I could draw my eyebrows like that as well. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> the funny story was I actually shaved off my eyebrows with shaving stick. and with I had shaving stick? Yes. And I had to go to school the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I looked like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> had you done all back, Shuku? We're on low court. Because oh, I actually attended oh, a boarding oh, school. Oh, so. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so no brows. No brows, no hair. Oh, I looked no. like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> what happened when your sister actually saw you like that? Of course, in, in every traditional African home, they'll mm-hmm. scold me. Yeah, I actually received the beating of my life. <laughs> Coupled with the fact that I have to deal with like a bad brow. <laughs> Imagine and get the embarrassment in school, and then at home they also give you their own. <laughs> ah, sis, they beat you into falling in love with makeup. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so after that, mm-hmm, tell me more. So when did the passion grow? So is that the point now you started applying eyebrows? Because obviously you had to draw something, Abby. <laughs> when did it happen? When did the magic happen? Looking back, this mm-hmm. is so funny because I had to wait. It's hair. It can't just grow overnight. I Correct. had to wait for it to grow. Especially eyebrow. Uh-huh. Or more. And then I'm going to school. I can't draw eyebrows to, to school. True. Yeah. And so... um. Makeup for me started really well when in 2015. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was um, I was doing my industrial training okay. at a medical facility. I actually okay. studied business administration and management. Come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> beauty and brains. Let's okay. go. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, I was doing my industrial training mm-hmm. at a medical facility mm-hmm. and I was involved in about 60% of admin duties. All right. Yeah. So um, at some point, it got really stressful for me. Mm-hmm. And so to ease my stress, I'll go on YouTube. Interesting. Yeah, go on YouTube and watch makeup videos during my break period. Okay. And really helped me a lot to like ease myself. Okay. Yeah. And then after watching videos... At work, mm-hmm. I'll go back home, practice mm-hmm. at night. Yes. So, wait, 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 wait. I have to ask you this. First of all, who are you watching on YouTube around this time? Okay. I watch the likes of um, Jackie Aina, mm. Jenny Jenkins, mm. Glamba is okay. Come on. A lot, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, you would go home and you would do your makeup. So, you do your makeup, rub it, and then sleep? Or me, I would sleep with the makeup like this. I will wake up. I okay. woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So, um, okay, I'll do my makeup Mm -hmm. and then take pictures, Mm -hmm. post on Facebook, and then clean the makeup. Yes. At least you captured the memory. Yeah. yeah. And it's also a way for me to practice. Correct. And you can look, this is what I did yesterday. This Mm -hmm. is how I'm improving. You can check your progress. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. And then after um, I'm done with the shoot or whatever I need to do, Mm -hmm. sleep, wake up the next morning, Mm -hmm. wear makeup again to work the next day. Awesome. Yeah. So I wonder how it must be. Like, obviously you are doing admin, you said, at this Mm -hmm. particular point. So they see Winnie coming in one day and then they slowly start to see a different Winnie showing up to work. That was exactly how it went. Mm -hmm. So um, when they see my makeup, they'll be like, okay. This actually looks nice. Mm-hmm. They start complimenting me. Mm-hmm. And you know, one thing about complimenting someone, it boosts their morale. Correct. Yeah, so it actually made me push myself to even practice more. I love and that. Then w- and when this um, uh, complimenting, um, when they started complimenting me, mm-hmm. I said, okay, this is something I could really do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because at that point while I was working, it was very, to be on, very honest, it was very stressful for me. It was mm. very, so, and I really loved this secretarial thingy. Okay. Yeah, I really, that was what I wanted to do. Okay. If you asked me when I was growing up, I was like, okay. I had so many professions that I wanted to go from, to, I wanted to do from being um, an hair hostess to okay. being a newscaster. And then I found, finally landed myself, found myself studying at business administration. Okay. So it was something I actually wanted to, to do. do. Yeah, True. but when I went for practicing or the training, mm. I just told myself, no, I, do, I don't think I want to do a nine-to-five anymore. Immediately, no. Yeah, and then thank God for this And technically, makeup. it's not really nine-to-five because what time are you waking up? 
to even get ready <laughs> okay. to be in the okay. office. Okay, back story. Okay. I wake up very early, as early as 4 a.m., to be very honest, because I have to do my makeup. Yeah, just as a way of practicing again. Correct. And then after the make maybe like for like one hour, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I have to now go meet someone that's going to pick and um, take me to work. Okay. And he's a doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he mm -hmm. leaves very early. Mm -hmm. So by six, I am, we're already on our way to work. And Can then arrive, arrive work at seven. Whoa. Yeah, so the normal time, day. yeah, the normal time for us to resume work is eight. But I end up arriving seven Early. because of the doctor that has to pick me up. Correct. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's insane. So, but I like the fact that because you are passionate about makeup, it gave you a reason to want to wake yeah. up. Yeah. Right, because me, morning, I don't like morning. <laughs> so I don't even know I have survived in employment this long because <laughs> I know I I feel I don't know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like as creative people we are not really morning people. No. Mm -mm. But the push, the fact that you have to like yeah. do this, mm. you, you just have to push yourself to wake up very early. Correct, yeah. correct. Okay, so now slowly, slowly, you've started doing makeup, you've started realizing this nine to five thing is not your your calling. Like, yeah, I'm passionate about secretarial, but this whole nine to five, mm-mm. Mm -mm. So at what point do we start taking makeup seriously, seriously? Well, um... While I was still doing my training, okay. I kept practicing with everyone that I could lay my hands on. Okay. Yeah, and then I finally went back to school after one year okay. for my HND. What year is this, just for context? Um, This was 2016. 2016, yeah. okay. And then um, a friend of mine, my secondary school classmate, okay. I usually post on Facebook then. Mm -hmm. So um, she referred me to her sister oh. who's getting married. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. And so I did her makeup for our, our wedding. Okay. Yeah, that was like my first ever like actual makeup job. I think I was paid 10,000 naira. Oh, <laughs> but that 10,000 goes sweet. Uh, eh? Oh, mm. mom, it's confirmation. The you don't put that stuff on able, your head. The fact I was able to earn mm -hmm. money from my my craft, like mm. what I could do with my hands was amazing for me. Do you come from a talented family? Like, cause you know, there's some talented, all of them are doctors, all of them are lawyers. So in your family, like I, what's, if you don't mind giving me a, a, a bit of a background, like how many kids are you like? Okay. Um, I'm the last of nine. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. That's a big family. Yeah. So you had a lot of people to practice on. Yes. <laughs> I'm the last of nine, but mm -hmm. I lost my sister. Yeah. So oh, man, we're eight now. In, may she rest in peace. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, when I discovered makeup, mm -hmm. everyone was happy about it mm -hmm. because growing up, I was the only one that didn't have a talent or something that they could say, <laughs> okay, this is my handwork. We had bakers in our family, mm. hairdressers, mm -hmm. people that could literally do things with their hands. Mm. My mom is a seamstress. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So when I started doing makeup, everyone was so happy. They were actually supportive of me. Amazing. And they were like, oh, finally, at least mm. you don't get handwork. <laughs> <laughs> at least. <laughs> because the way it was looking or going was as if... You don't even have anything to do. <laughs> so what if you're not able to find a job? I what know. are you going to do? True. Yeah, that was the, that was how it was going. But I actually respect that about your family because where I come from, the focus would have been get a job, get a job, get a job. Mm -hmm. But your family was like, okay, if option A doesn't work, what is option B? Mm -hmm. And probably that silently made you be curious until you found your yeah. thing. Amazing. I love that for you. So now let's go back to the wedding. 10K. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, so um <laughs> you're always cracking me up. <laughs> okay, so that 10k covers mm -hmm. makeup, mm -hmm. my transportation, gilly, um, beads, beads. Yeah, so um I'm originally from Delta State. Okay. Worry to be precise. Okay. And um in Delta State back then, if you are a makeup artist and you do not know how to tie gilly. It means that you are not a makeup artist, to be very honest. Mm. So after um, practicing online mm -hmm. with makeup, I had to learn how to tie gilly, mm -hmm. like this head gear that Africans wear. Mm. Yeah. So um, 
the 10,000 covers, my transportation, everything, including traditional bees I have to rent. Oh so, my goodness. So after all that expense, and the bees are really like original coral bees. And, and they're, they're heavy. Very, yes, and they're expensive. So True. after, if you subtract the cost of the bees <laughs> and everything, the Classes. transportation, I'm even left with little or nothing. But I was really, really happy that mm. at least I could do something and mm. end something for myself. I normally say that first client is the proof of concept. Yeah. It's to make you believe ah, that. You need ah, to fire on. <laughs> correct. To give you that motivation yeah. and that resilience. But let's take it back because I have a friend of mine who's also a very big makeup artist in Tanzania. And I saw how she struggled to build her box with makeup equipment. Do you have a story around that area? Because I know for makeup artists, like that is a labor of love. Like there sometimes we would go out with her for dinner and she's like, how much is that branch? 500. Do you know how many foundations those are? And I could see like that was her fire. She would sacrifice everything. Mm -hmm. So how did you start like for in terms of like gathering things together for you? Okay. So when I started building up my, my makeup collection, mm -hmm. I'll buy very cheap products. Mm. I mean, while I was um, in training, mm -hmm. I earned, I think, about 20,000 naira. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. I actually and that's for the whole month? Yes, for the whole month. Back then in 2015. Mm. Yeah. So, um, so from that amount and, of course, tips from my boss, mm. I'll buy makeup products. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll buy product, cheap products, use on my face. Mm. And as time went by, I started like building up the kits. Mm. I also remember that um, my first makeup box mm. was a custard container, to be very honest <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. gotta start from somewhere. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, it was I'm not I'm not yet to share from the grass to gray story or or no no. I'm just being realistic mm -hmm. here. It was a Costa container. Mm -hmm. I also remember where I have to like improvise, mm. use products that were um, not for that specific purpose, just mm. to make sure that I'm able to like achieve what I'm going for. I remember um, using my eyebrow pencil okay. for contouring. Yes. Re yes. It makes sense, Sha. Yes. It my makes brown sense. pencil. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> it actually makes sense. Uh, girl, we could be sitting on a gold mine. You heard it here first. If you ever see someone has copied, you heard it here first. <laughs> no, it actually makes sense. <laughs> Instead of that thing that they give us the stick, you just yes, draw. Yeah. So um, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have enough money to buy contour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had to use my Davis pencil. So if you're an OG in makeup, you mm. know Davis pencil. Yeah. I still use it up to date, mm -hmm. and that was the pencil I used to contour my nose, my face, and then just blend it. Yeah. It actually, it actually makes sense. Works. When you start your own makeup line, because I know it's going to happen, Amen. we have to make that Amen. contour pencil. We have to. Amen. We have to. And now we have the receipts. We have the evidence. You had it here first. In case anyone wants to do fast fingers, we we'll know you copied. Wow, that's such a nice tip. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So now you've built your box slowly and slowly. All right. So this is around 2016. Yeah. So immediately... You you managed to get your first client. Were you first to go and quit your job? Because now you're like, ah, if I can make my half salary with one 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 makeup artist, or did you take your time? What happened after that? Oh yeah. So um at that time I'd already finished my training. Okay. Yes. I think yeah, I finished the training in September or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of um 2016. Okay. So from 2015 through 2016, yeah. It was one year training, mm -hmm. and then I got the job in December okay. yeah, of that same year, 2016. Okay. And I went back to school, mm. kept practicing, using my my roommates, my friends. And then I also remember that back then in school, if they're talking about makeup, mm -hmm. makeup artists, I would like be one of the persons who would talk about because I was so deep into makeup. Oh. Yeah. You guys don't tell my parents you can <laughs> I remember that I would miss some classes because mm. I probably got a booking mm. that I have to attend to. Like, a girl needs to make money, right? Facts. Yeah. Okay. I'm so grateful that at least it's paying off right now. Oh, m trust me. You got to trust the process sometimes. <laughs> exactly. Don't rush the process. And that's another thing that I normally say about creative people. Once you identify your passion, 
It will haunt you until the day you decide to give it full energy. Yeah. It will haunt you. It will literally scatter everything else from the way until you mm -hmm. give it 100% energy. Okay, cool. So let's fast forward a little bit. Uh, now let's link it up to now how you ended up in Dubai. So 2015, 2016, you graduated, you had the internship, you decided, okay, secretarial is not working for you, got your first client, went back to school, finished. Now, did you do full-time makeup work and how were people finding you then? So um, I graduated mm -hmm. in 2018 mm -hmm. and once I graduated, I moved to Abuja. Yeah, I've always been sort of a risk taker. Yeah, so I came from a very small town, Bori Delta State. Mm -hmm. And I just knew that if I was going to make it big, I have to move, mm. to be honest. I have, because I'm a very, very uh, deep thinker and mm. I love to dream. Mm. My dreams scare me sometimes. I just knew that. Say that again. <laughs> That again. My dream scares me. <laughs> I love I that. I dream a lot. Like sometimes when I think, I'll start imagining so many big things I, I know that I'll probably ha achieve. But mm. on the other hand, I I try to like girl, just rest. <laughs> just rest. <because laughs> But you have to be <laughs> aim for the stars so that you can land on the exactly, sky. I yeah. love that, Winnie. That is that is such a big bold statement. Yeah, I love that, and I'm here to declare to you that your dreams are valid. Exactly. Yes, it they is are. valid. Yes, yeah. it's evident. Amen. Yeah. So when I moved to um, Abuja in 2018, I okay. did my NYSC. Okay. Yeah. So there's this thing in Nigeria, National Youth Service Corp. You okay. have to do it. Kind of mandatory once mm. you graduate. So that's what I I did my NYC in Abuja and I got a job oh. as a makeup assistant. <laughs> See the universe just aligned for you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. So I got a job as a makeup assistant at um with one of the biggest makeup artists in Abuja, Genevera okay. Beauty. Mm. Yeah. So I worked with her for a couple of months mm -hmm. and I finally got my own space. <laughs> <laughs> like you decided and you made the choice and you told yourself at that young age that this thing secretarial as much as I thought she was my dream ah, my passion I've now discovered it it's makeup God aligned it you now even took a bold step moved away from home as yeah. a last born <laughs> yes as a last born yes I know that couldn't have been easy both for you and your family yeah but you took the leap of faith finished your NYSC Ended up getting a job as a more assistant and then started your own thing. Yeah. Wow, when you have so much to be proud of. You know, thank, I'm so grateful to God. It's been God. Mm. It's just been God. Yeah. And so um when I moved, when um where are we? Yeah, when you moved to Abuja, you did okay, the internship. Uh, yeah, so and then I finally got my own space. Okay. I got my own space because um once I was done working with her. Okay. I started doing this, the normal, what I do right here, mobile okay. services. Mm. But then I started getting some clients who ask me, oh, do you have a studio, this and that? Mm. And I said, okay, fine, let me get a studio. Okay. So I paid for a studio. Okay. Did you know that one or, I think one or two months, I did not get any clients. You were just <laughs> in the studio on your own. Oh, my God. Oh, my I goodness. only got one person that came for um, a personal training. So it's not all, even really a client. No, all the people that were saying, I want studio services. Mm. No, but I did not get one client. But the God that saved me was that it's it's very good to plan. True. So before I decided to like get into owning a studio or paying for a studio space, mm -hmm. I had already prepared my rent. Like, okay, mm. uh, regardless, even if I make anything, I don't make anything or I, I make anything. My rent least, is covered. It's exactly. It's sorted out. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to plan. Yeah, very important. And so um, after the two months, mm -hmm. nobody showed up. I stepped back. <sighs> Makes sense. Yeah, so I didn't pay for the studio anymore. Mm -hmm. I waited for a couple of, um, I think for a couple of two months again. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, there's always this push. Like, mm -hmm. girl, you need to Continue pushing. Mm. Continue. So I looked for another studio space mm -hmm. and then I paid again mm -hmm. and 
started getting clients, studio nice. clients. Yes. So at that point, how were you advertising yourself? Like, where were people finding more information about you? And there's one important question I forgot to ask. Mm. And sorry to jump it, jump it in now. How did the name Flair by Winnie come about? Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go there step by step. Step by step, yes. Okay. Um, as time went by, mm -hmm. I opened my Instagram page okay. in 2016. Okay. I think September 17th or 16th. Yeah, okay. that was when I opened my Instagram account. And then I started posting as well. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, I stopped posting on Facebook because of a, an incident that happened. Mm. Yeah, but hopefully I'm going to start posting on Facebook again. Okay. But I just focused my energy on Instagram. Instagram. And then I started getting clients on Instagram. I did sponsored ads and all mm. of that stuff. Mm. Yeah, and um, Flair by Winnie, originally, mm -hmm. we weren't Flair by Winnie. Really? Yes. 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 Um, I, um, the brand used to be WNA Makeup Artistry. Okay. WNA is Winifred Neka Akovri, my complete name. Mm. Yes, artistry, makeup artistry. Mm -hmm. And so when people will call me for inquiry, they'll be like, ah, is this WNA? And it's too <laughs> long. <laughs> it was too long. And sometimes I'll even like, okay, yeah, it's Winnie. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make inquiries for makeup. Mm -hmm. And I just thought to myself, I need to change this name. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want people to forget my name. Correct. Yes. You have to have top of mind. Yes. Correct. And I want it to be easy to mm -hmm. remember, to to be able, easy to pronounce. Mm. And so while I was registering my business mm -hmm. with CAC, mm -hmm. I, I had to like change it. Oh, and wow. Yeah. Did it cost you a lot of money to change everything? No, no. Okay. The WN April wasn't registered at okay. the point. Okay. Yes. Okay. So when I was registering officially with CAC, mm -hmm. I changed the name to Flair by Winnie. Winnie. So Flair by Winnie came about with um, when, um Flair by Winnie. Flair means creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, creativity. And I was like, okay, creativity by Winnie. Mm. Flair by Winnie. Winnie. Mm. Yes. And it was so easy. And my name is Winnie, Winnie yeah. Fred. Yeah. So even if they can't pronounce Flair, they can pronounce Winnie. Winnie. True. It's the same. Yeah. So it was, it, I just, I just, I just um, went with Flair by Winnie. I like it. It has yeah. a nice ring to it, actually. Yeah. I like it. Interesting. Cool. So now you've set up your second studio, yeah. right? Um, how do you end up in Dubai? How do you end up in this beautiful sand pit? I mean, it seems like you're already creating roots in Abuja and it, like you fully settled exactly. there. You're very correct. And yeah. then now, boom, you're in Dubai. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was already getting clients mm -hmm. in, Dubai, in, in Ab Abuja. Abuja. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it felt like I was... Um, reinvesting my profit into the business, like when you when you think about the expenses, mm. makeup products, mm. everything, and how I was charging, mm. it was not correlating at all. I I like I said earlier, I am a very big dreamer. Mm. I'm very ambitious. Mm. I just I wanted more, and so I just said okay. And that itch, when it comes, <laughs> it will itch you. I wanted more. Yeah. So um, the plan wasn't for me to move to Dubai. Okay. I wanted to, like, just see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Because I had friends here. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to see how it goes. And then stay for about one month. If it goes well, then I mm. just relax. Mm. If it doesn't, I come back to my studio and continue. continue because at least try and push myself. True. Because at least there was something already. Yeah, at least I tried my tried to like do something else to see if it's gonna work. Okay. And so when I moved here, mm -hmm. I didn't even bring my makeup. You lie. I did not. I bought I bought everything here okay. all over again. So when I moved here, what year is this? This was in 2019. Okay. I think I should be calling the year now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so people to see the journey, yeah, the, the journey, progress. Yeah. It's not easy. So, in so this is four years in already. Yes. 2019, okay. August 1st, I landed in Dubai. I moved here in August also. Wow. Hey, okay. August What's we need? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, I moved here and... I just started posting my job on Instagram. Of course, you have to use hashtag. It's very mm. important. Social media is 
a very important tool for mm. every business owner. I, I see people that say, oh, um, I'm a very shy. I am a very shy person, but I try to push myself. Mm. So you have to make use of social media, mm. use the right hashtags. Mm. So I started posting on Instagram, using the right hashtags, location. Mm. And before you knew it, I got my first client. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> so at this point, are you doing your own makeup and doing videos? Or how no. are you showcasing your work? There's a backstory. Mm. <laughs> Do you Just. Want? Are you sure you want to hear this? I am ready. Okay. Give okay. But I think we'll have to cut it out. But All let right, me no just problem. tell you. Yeah. So a night before I was meant to travel to Dubai, I was robbed in my house. <laughs> I was robbed in my house. And... um. They took my phone, obviously. They took my money. So I literally came to Dubai with touch light phone that I used rubber band, band to, to hold. To to get hold. That. Oh my and goodness. I think about 10,000 naira. For real, because I, re- I, I withdrew money mm-hmm. and I needed to change to dollars. Yeah, because you're traveling the next yes, day. So I withdrew money. I wanted to change to dollars. Oh, the devil. Yes, and then. They robbed me, collected my money, my phone. Thank God they didn't collect my passport. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> and so when I came here, I, I would screen, screenshot my old post that I've done before and then repost them again on my page. See. <laughs> See. <laughs> See. Even that in itself is sense. <laughs> because at that point, you have to start with what you have. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and um, I start. I started doing that constantly. And then um, I still didn't have a phone yet. Okay. I had, I think I got um, um, a very quack Android phone. Like, mm. it was still, the, the head was <laughs> shaking. <laughs> so, and the camera was not good. I can imagine. So, the clients that will book me, I will use their phone mm. to take them pictures and then um, send to my WhatsApp and then I have to now post, post, it. post it again. See Johnny. <laughs> See jo- don't don't rush greatness. You cannot rush no greatness. Way. There's it's, a process. Yes. <laughs> oh more. Oh more. Uh huh. And so um, where are we? <laughs> yeah. So they would send you the pictures like when yes, I touch yeah, my yeah, face. Yeah. My face looks amazing. Um. So they would send you the images on WhatsApp. You would take it with the client's yes, phone. Yes, I'll take it with the client's phone. I'll post it, mm-hmm. and then I started building clients. And these clients, once I do their makeup, because I try my best mm. to satisfy my clients, mm. I really put in my all whenever I have to do makeup on someone. Mm. So um. When they get satisfied, they refer me to their cl- their, their friends, their family. And then their friends and family mm. refer me further more. So the, the circle just continues. It continues. I started getting even more clients. I can imagine. And then, thank goodness, I was able to get this phone. Aww. I still use this phone. <laughs> I like, purchased this phone in 2019 with my proceeds I got from makeup oh, bookings. Uh, oh, nice. Dubai. Oh, yeah. my goodness. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So Dubai is obviously a very different market from Abuja, mm-hmm. right? Um, and one thing I like about you, and this is not to throw shade to anyone, but there's some makeup artists where all their looks look the same. They have like a signature look. But with you, it's like you know how to capture and bring out someone's features, right? And how, here we have the different people from different walks of life. Was that a bit challenging for you in the beginning or... How did you manage to navigate that? It wasn't it mm. wasn't challenging. To I me. love the confidence. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Come on, Winnie, give them. Hey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. It wasn't challenging to me at all. Okay. Because like I said, you have to plan. Mm. When I came here, mm. I was actually traumatized from the experience. Oh. I um when I moved here, mm-hmm. I was actually traumatized from the experience. And um, it really made me think, what is the next step? Mm. How do I make money? Because I've always been that independent girl. I started Mm -hmm. working when I was like 16, yeah, or 15, yeah. Not because my parents couldn't afford, but I just wanted to have my own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was thinking, what's the next step? And so I looked at my environment. This is a tourist country. Everyone would want their makeup in a certain way, Mm -hmm. right? 
unlike back in Nigeria where if you see that makeup look, you say, oh, this person did this makeup, this person did this makeup. You're able to identify mm. who, did, who did it. They yeah. have a, it's a particular look. Yes, exactly. I get you. But moving here, I had to like develop my skills. So mm-hmm. I became a versatile makeup artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So my makeup is tailored towards meeting the needs of my clients. Mm. Yes. For example, the UK girls, mm. they love the bright under eyes. Mm. So imagine if I don't know how to do bright under eyes. I can't service them, right? Facts. Yeah. And so um, do it by, by being a versatile makeup artist, I'm able to satisfy my clients, Correct. meet their needs, and also make even more income because, I mean, I want to see that ah, this person can do, this person can do sure. that. They True. start referring me and all I, around. I agree because like there was, you don't put yourself in a box. On your page, I know I'll see an Arab lady. I'll see a European lady. Yeah. I'll see a Kenyan. I'll see a Nigerian. I'll see people from different yeah. walks of like walks of life, and you capture their looks with their essence. I'll see a Somali. I'll see a Sudanese. Yeah. So you didn't box yourself to say that this is the demographic that I cater to, and that that's yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So now, let's celebrate some of your highlights. Come on! You know, Wendy is very <laughs> humble and very shy. But today, I have to put her on the spots. <laughs> Do you have a particular moment in your makeup career where you were like, wow, I am here because of makeup. Like, my hands, my skills have made me an a spot here. Do you have, like, a moment that you remember? Yeah. A mama, I made it moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, tell us more. Just us. Okay, it was in January of okay. 2023. Okay. I was privileged to um, glam badass boss. Mm. Yes, for the um, Atlantis Beyonce opening concert. Wow. Yeah, so... Um, the <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've never even been to that hotel. <laughs> and she was there before it opened to the public. <laughs> Hey, so you and Beyonce were breathing the same air. I mean, yeah, we were. We were breathing the same air. I love that for you. Thank you. Oh, nice. How did it feel? How did it even start? Like, how did that booking come about? Like, I, I would love to understand that. Okay. Like I said, social media, mm. you have to take it very seriously. So I got booked by um her manager. Okay. Yeah, for about three or four, four days, I guess. Yeah, four wow. days. Yeah, so I was... Back, back and, and forth, forth back Atlantis and forth. the Royal, yes, True. yeah. And so um I got booked. And that's just it. And of course you have to put in your all. True. Because I mean, even if I was booked for four days, if I did if I did rubbish on the first day. They would have never retained. Exactly. You. Correct. Exactly. And I can imagine the kind of recommendations that just come mm-hmm. from having her yes. on your page. Yes. Because girl, sometimes I look at your page and I'm like, ah ah, hey, hey. let me help you drop name. Nini Leaks. Portia. Ah! Who else can I drop there? Eh? Lisa Milan. Lisa Milan. <laughs> Chanel Ayan. Uh-huh. Nengi. Uh-huh. As in, girl, you have done some big, big... And those are the ones that I can remember at the top of my head right now. Sis, that is amazing. Thank you. How does it normally feel like when you walk into the room and you're like... Like, for example, do you know who you're going to do makeup for? Or sometimes you just get there and you're like, ah... So is this celebrity I'm coming to do makeup for? Have you ever had such well, an instance? Well, um, I always get the information okay. beforehand. Okay. Yes. Nice. Yeah, I always do get the information. But sometimes I'm always star struck. I would but be I ha- too. Yeah, but I have to keep it professional. So yeah. you be I mean so Wow. <laughs> That, those are like some massive, massive names. But also, like with everything that happens in life, some things have ups and downs. But some downs can be blessings in disguises. I am, see as your heart is pounding, but I, I don't know if you know where I'm going. <laughs> but this happened to you recently, and I want you to narrate it yourself. I'll just add ginger where I need to. <laughs> there was this TikToker who you did make up for. I think you can now continue from there. Okay, let me spill it to you. Okay, spill it. She's spilling the tea. To be very honest, I'm a very um, trouble, trouble-free person. True, like who would even want to look for <laughs> yeah, a trouble so, with you? 
Um, I will beat them for you. <laughs> you know my okay, grandma is so too much. I did much. her makeup. Okay. And it was good. I mean, anytime I am done with a client's makeup, mm. I always ask, do you want me to fix anything? Because, I mean, the fact that I am a makeup artist and I strive for um, perfection, there's, there's no perfection anywhere. Mm. But I strive to be at least perfect. Close yeah, to close perfect. to it. Yeah, you might see something I might not see. Correct. So I always give every client the opportunity to like, okay, tell me what I need to fix mm. right there. Mm. So at least I can fix it. True. Right? So obviously I did mm -hmm. to uh, tell the client or ask the client. Mm -hmm. And then she said it was good. Mm -hmm. I even took pictures mm -hmm. of the job. Mm -hmm. But I didn't end up posting it because of backlogs and the rest. Okay. And so um, this happened in January. Coincidentally, mm -hmm. I did that makeup the same day I did um, um, Glam for Beyonce's concert. Yo. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, but she didn't attend the event. It was okay. a separate okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, so a client, mm. fast forward to um, August. Mm -hmm. Was it August? Yeah. yeah August. Um, a client booked me and then she was like um she got my contact from a bad review <laughs> that is a weird very weird that is weird <laughs> like i got your contact from a bad review review yeah when All she right. told me i was so scared i was like oh my god what what is this what's going on i was so scared for you my village people and then she told me that um she wants that exact look i was like this is this so is even weird. getting like, more weird and then she said um, she was looking for a makeup artist okay. on TikTok. And then, because I always post, I like to post myself on my page as well. So at mm. least my clients can also identify me. Are. Yes. True. And so um, the the bad review, the video, the client actually posted my face without my consent. But that's aside. <laughs> so she posted my face mm. and then that was where... The client that booked me saw my face and then checked my own page, page and saw that this was me. Yeah. And then she booked me and she requested that um I do that same makeup. Look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you are you seeing how a setback can be a <laughs> blessing? And it's confusing. Like I can imagine you reading that message and the client is saying, I want to book you based on a bad review. And you're I was like sorry, I was very, very like I was shocked, like. Mm. <laughs> mm. I, I, when I saw that video, I was ready to fight her. <laughs> I was ready to fight her, like. So just for a little bit of context, because you can see Winnie is being very humble. This TikToker went and said, oh, that she booked Winnie via online and everything. She was on. She said some nice things. I won't lie. She said she was on time. She was very clean and everything. She felt comfortable. She was professional. But she was not content with the look. And she even did videos showing. And she even now did, like, six hours later. Like, this is how the makeup look. The comments. People are like, excuse me, you clearly are not exposed. You've never traveled to the Middle East. This is how they like their makeup. They're very bold. They're beautiful. You cannot mess with makeup of people. It's like Nigerian and, and in Dubai. So she knows how to do both Nigerian and Arabic. Let me tell you, you have... That's when I said you're Winnie the winner. Because your people came through for you. Um, uh, I was going to write one big English for her. Oh then I looked God. at the comments and said, hey, they have already dealt with her. <laughs> There was good feedback. And there were ladies who were like, uh, I really don't see the problem with your makeup. Why do you need to do this post? <laughs> like, I, w I when I saw you posted it, you were like, oh, I just got a bad review. I'm a bit scared. I was like, no, I, do I don't even log into TikTok. <laughs> but because you're my babe, I went there. I said, who is this? Let's deal with them. Keep out warriors. Today I have time. <laughs> but then I looked at the response from people and I was like, what uh, is she yeah. talking about bad makeup, right? Yeah, that really got me. Yeah, but one thing I have to say is that... um. Not every client is your client. True. And why you can be the best makeup artist, mm. but you cannot satisfy everyone. It's true. And also some persons, they have like a particular look they might be going for, even if the very, very best makeup artist true. work on their face. You cannot satisfy. You cannot get their face. True. So I, I, I'm to be very honest. I'm not angry at her. Mm. I'm. I only wish that she could have just sent told me a you. message. Yeah. yeah. Or even have, told you because you asked yes. her. Even me today, yeah. you asked me, "Are you happy with yeah, your look?" Yeah. I just. Wish she, yeah. Yeah. Like be she open. Told me and 
I could have done something. I mean, True. I'm because I'm all about customer retention. Mm. I'm not really all about um, I'll do your makeup today and then you disappear. No, I want to build my clientele like consistently. True. Yeah. Relationship is very key yes. in your business because makeup is now a basic necessity mm-hmm. for a complete look. Yeah. So it does not mean it's a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah. It's something that you w- will happen frequently. Mm-hmm. Nice. But how did you feel when you go went to the TikTok comments and you saw people saying, "Because I can imagine you have fear when you're going into it." I'm scared. I was scared, but. <laughs> <laughs> the, my reaction changed totally because I started laughing mm. when I saw like the the good comments, mm. and the good comments overpowered the bad review. Correct. Yeah, I Correct. was I was really happy. In fact, she should be thanking you because <laughs> I think that is her post with the highest level of engagement. Her comment section was full. I looked at her other post, so it's giving like she did it intentionally. But anyway, we'll forgive her. <laughs> This is not Winnie that has said it is me. If you want to come, come and attack me. So, yeah, I'm all about peace. You know, <laughs> very, very clean energy, good vibes every day, exactly. all day. Yeah. So you actually boosted her engagement because the comment section, people are now even commenting. And when you want to know the gist is sweet, there is a comment under the comment <laughs> of the comments. That's when you know, like, people have really gotten into the cocoa of that matter. But yeah, like, man, more grist to your elbow because you. I can imagine for someone who strives to be the best at what they do. And then you have this one person where you've given your best and then out of nowhere, where she could have been transparent with you, she decided to go to the court of public opinion (laughs) to try and embarrass you. Well, and it turned around. Period. Period. All things work for good for those who love and praise the Lord. (laughs) Yeah. Nice. Cool. So let's look into the future a little bit. Let's let's manifest a little bit. And I will start by, before going into the business and growth aspect, I would want to ask you, do you have a wish list? I know you've already done a lot of celebs and they're going to keep coming, especially like the next few months is your seasonal because Mm -hmm. we have F1 and all that. Mm -hmm. There'll be a lot of tourists coming in. Um, Do you have like a wish list of some people you want to do their makeup? Like there could be anyone. Um... Growing up, mm-hmm. I am the last of nine, right? Mm. So I, I have really older siblings. Mm. Like the person I'm next to is like seven years older than me. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so um, growing up, I listened to more of R&B, 80s and 90s music. Mm. And so um, I'd really like to do Ashanti's makeup. Mm. And she's pretty. Old. Yes, Kelly Rowland. Mm. You know, all those. I really love those. Um, Mary J. Blige. Yeah. She's also yeah. one of the timeless beauty. Yes, and then. um, oh. Yeah, when you need the name, that's when your mind will disgrace I swear you. To I, God. I know that feeling <laughs> very well. Very, I, very I can well. literally see her, but I, I, I can't remember <laughs> the name. Do you know one of her songs? Is any of her songs coming to your mind? Oh, um, she's a rapper. Hmm. Ah. I'm telling you, it will come when you least expect it. You will mention it when you least expect it. So we can jump a little bit into the business aspect, right? So if any of my beautiful people want to find you, um, what is your process like to book you to come in for um to do my makeup? Okay, so I've laid down mm. necessary um um ways whereby I can be reached okay. on my um Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um you can find me on Instagram, mm. Flair by Winnie. In fact, all our social media platforms mm. Flair by Winnie. Nice. And then yeah, you can um check out my website, so www.flairbywinnie.com. Thank cute. you. I actually built it myself. Really? Yes. You really have <laughs> hands <laughs> You did it yourself. Yeah, I did it myself. I need your help then to build my link tree. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. So all the details are available. Yeah, on every by detail. Yeah. You awesome. don't even need to ask me any question. My rate card is there. My booking True. policy, everything. Everything. Awesome. Yeah. You heard it here. Flair by, by Winnie. Winnie. We will attach the handle on the screen. Look for her. Find her because I guarantee you, you will need her. Yes. Yeah, you need me. You will. You will. 
Um, let's manifest a little bit. So we've discussed the kind of clients that are aspirational for you, Ashanti, Kelly, Kelly Roland, uh, Tamia would also be good, uh, Mary J. Blige. But business-wise, would you ever consider like setting up shop here? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> let's manifest, though. Let's put it in the universe. The universe will surprise us. Well... I don't know why. I feel like Flair by Winnie Beauty Academy just sounds, it sounds, it's giving. It's giving, <laughs> sis. It's giving. I'm, well, I'm manifesting it for you. It will happen. Mm. It will. Mm. The only constraint is obviously money. Correct. Right? It's not easy in this Dubai. It's, um, like, it's not easy at money all. money from trees. It's not easy, yeah. but it's definitely going to happen at some point. Nice. You recently had a masterclass. Was that one of your dreams when you were planning what your journey wants to look like? Yeah. Nice. How yeah. how long was that a plan for you before it actually became a reality? Or did um, you just wake up one day and say, I'm doing masterclass? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Like I said earlier, I learned from YouTube. Mm. Yeah. Like 90% of Everything I know, University I learned it YouTube. online, yeah. Mm. And I see people still struggle even after they've done, they've they've watched YouTube, True. yeah, or watched videos online. Mm, number one. <laughs> so um, I wanted to actually showcase, show people like the easiest way to mm. create looks on themselves, mm. yeah. Mm. So that's that's that was the more reason why I decided to do a master class. It's been lingering in my ears for a long time. Mm. Like, okay, let me just, let me do this. And I like that it was intimate. Yeah. Not too many people. I saw you going around one by yeah. one. Oh that, God, that was like the highlight for me as well because I wanted everyone to like really understand mm. and really um, practice. I was able to like, okay, this is your area that, this is the area where you're finding it difficult. Okay, this is what you need to do. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I hope there's going to be 2.0. Definitely. I it's already in one. the works. We're already preparing for Thank it. You. So watch out for 2024. Mm. Flair by Winnie Masterclass. Part two. Oh, yes. Hey, I'm excited. I'm I am excited. Too. I am not going to miss this. I don't care. I want, so, that one, I have to be there. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, so besides the Masterclass, is there any tea you want to share? Your plans? Like, you want to tell us what's coming up? Okay, so I have a subsidiary of Flair by Winnie. Okay. Yeah, so it's a lash brand. Okay. So Flair by Winnie, there's Flair by Winnie, and then there's Flair by Winnie Beauty. Mm -hmm. So mm. we started Flair by Winnie Beauty in 2020. Okay. Yes. And um, we're rebranding. Okay. And before the year runs out, yeah, you guys are going to be seeing... Flair by Winnie come up again. Nice. And even better. Nice. Yeah, because we are expanding. Okay. So you can be able to shop Flair by Winnie Beauty. Nice. On one of your biggest platforms. Ah! Yeah. Yes. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, honey. Thank you so much. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Mm. Go, girl. <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. That's why now you should not even give us that contour pen. Because that, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to be sending you videos from today. Winnie, I no tried it with the pen because me, that drawing no thing, problem. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. As in, I agreed. I, I can only run my mouth. I don't know how to use my hands. The hands are just for eating, honestly speaking. This mm. should be a comedy show because I've been laughing nonstop. It's true. Cool. So... Being in the UAE, um, obviously catering to different diverse products, uh, different diverse people from different backgrounds, but under this weather of the UAE, help us, dish us some tips and tricks because, Winnie, I told you today, like normally where I park my car is slightly far from where the studio is. Before I get to the studio, the kind of sweat, my makeup would be dripping. Today I walked, not even, it did not even peep. It did not even... <laughs> I say, Winnie, what did you do to my face? <laughs> am I am I mad? What do I do to my face when I'm coming here? Like nothing. If you've watched all my previous episodes, you'll probably see a stain of water on my top or under under boob sweat or something. I look greasy. But look at me today, honey. Mm. <laughs> so please 
That's just some tips and tricks. Let us use sense so that we don't embarrass ourselves. Okay. Um, the most important step when you're trying to create a look mm-hmm. for yourself or anyone mm. is skin prep. Mm. Yeah, skin prep is very, very important. It can make or mar your makeup. Okay. Yeah, so you have to know um, the right products to use for each skin type. Okay. Yeah, so if you have oily skin, dried combination, okay. yeah, you have to, like, really understand mm-hmm. the products that works best for your skin. Okay, cool, cool. So skin prep would be, like, my primer. Yeah, starting with cleansing your face, okay. moisturizing, okay. Um, primer, mm-hmm. sunscreen. That part. Yes, sunscreen. it's very important because mm. Dubai is very hot and True. you don't want the sun to like... They did a video the other day of a guy who's a truck driver. Mm. I think like he gets vegetables from airport and then he supplies them to different supermarkets. So because he's driving the truck... If you see side. this side oh of his God. skin, it has sagged completely. But then this side that is inside Aww. the truck is still okay. Oh so God. that part for sunscreen, I, yeah, I, sunscreen I take it seriously. Very, very important. Very, very important. And I know sometimes a lot of us um, black girls, we say, ah, that white coating, white film. I don't care if I look like mommy, what that's fine. <laughs> yeah, but there are sunscreens that, are, that don't have the white cast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We might need you to share a couple of brands for us because I'm finding um, it hard to find. One that doesn't leave the white cast. Like the one I use for my makeup, it's from Ultra Sun. Okay. Yes. It doesn't leave the white cast. No, it cast. doesn't leave the... Okay. Actually, when you blend it very well, it okay. does not leave the white cast. Okay. All right. Thank you for sharing that, Ultra Sun, everyone. Tips and <laughs> tricks from Flair by Winnie. Yeah, and it's very compatible with makeup because there are mm. some sunscreens that are not compatible with True. makeup. True. So if you, if you, especially if, for instance, you're an, or you have oily skin and you use some sunscreen... Mm. You just start getting shiny. Um, my, my, it'll just be looking like I kicked <laughs> my face. Like someone can do, and the <laughs> foundation would just spread. Girl, <laughs> what I, I sometimes, I, even when I'm applying foundation, I just feel like I'm wasting because I'm like, how did she blend it until I looked poreless? <laughs> Honestly, like, but each their own. Everyone has their strengths. That's why we have to keep coming back. Cool. So, priming and uh, before you actually apply the foundation, it's very important. That's yes, what you were saying. Yes. Okay. Uh, skin prep. Yeah. Skin prep. That's the yes, word I that's was the looking word, for. Skin prep. Cool. Any other tips you'd like to share with us? Um, what about removing makeup? There's been this, um, I think I saw it on TikTok a while back, where people were saying, like, you should not use wipes to remove makeup. Alternatively, you should use, like, micellar water and all that. Well, What's y- your take on that? Mm, that's tricky mm. because, to be honest, I won't even lie. I I use wipes. Mm, me too. Yeah, so convenient. Yeah, but micellar water like literally removes everything. Everything. Yeah. So but I don't know if it's really compatible. Whenever I put micellar water, I feel like wipes because I use wipes that have niacinamide and retinol because mm-hmm. I have oily skin. So it immediately feels like my skin did not absorb anything. When I use micellar, I feel sticky. So that makes me feel like my skin is still yeah, absorbing. But, yeah, but even if you're removing your makeup with micellar water, you still need to wash your face. Very true. Yeah. Very true. So Yeah, true. Facts, facts. All right. So what should we expect from the makeup line that you're going to be launching very soon? I'm so excited about <laughs> this. <laughs> well, uh, it's not actually a makeup line. Okay. It's a lash brand. A lash yeah, brand. Yeah, so um, when we started, we started with a lash brand, right? True. But now that we're rebranding, mm-hmm. we're going to be introducing makeup tools. Oh, nice. Yes. That's actually a very smart way to go because everyone goes products. You're going tools. Yes. Lashes. Nice. Makeup tools. Nice. Like, yeah. Nice. I love that. I love that. I'm, I have to be there for the launch party. <laughs> That's if there's going to be one. Uh, man, well, no worries. We'll create one for you. Excuse me. We you have to like say- party. I remember the last time I did your friend's makeup. You wanted, I was pregnant and you wanted to create <laughs> 
we you, had to, you wanted to uh, uh, prepare a party for my um, baby for shower. Your, yes, I was like, we have to do a party for you. Like, if it's not into this, I say it's not for you. It's for us to come and celebrate the baby. Which means we, are, we have to still do it because see how God works, when it's Just the other day you posted on your own Instagram and you said, guys, please, I know I don't come up, but don't stop inviting me. Oh, yeah. Now God has made us connect again. So now I'll be dragging you everywhere I go. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I will but be please tell me before I can yeah, prepare of course, my session. Of course. You see the way I'm prepared now. Hey. I, hey, I have to. I know. <laughs> like you're, you're, I cannot be there telling you last minute and maybe you have clients and everything. Yeah. But I would definitely give you notice in advance, you know. Because these are the ways even you will network. And then yeah. you're so lucky that you're in an industry that sells it, itself. I don't have to remove business card. I don't have to do anything. People will just see my face. They'll be like, ah, if at your face looking different, I say, oh, yeah, here she is. Here she is. Follow her now, 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 now. Like, your brand and your artistry speaks for itself. It's not Thank like me. You. I have to go and tell them, bring your phone. I now check. Do they have YouTube? Do YouTube. <laughs> look for it, then subscribe. So, yeah, we don't, there's a reason why God brought me back to your life. We shall make that happen. Mm. Cool. So, um, obviously, makeup also has trends, just like fashion, Right. Are there any specific makeup styles or trends that a lot of your clients are asking for right now? Update me, or maybe I'm still doing makeup from 2010 and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the clients aren't asking, but um, it's trendy and, hmm. I mean, you have to, as a makeup artist or as a creative, you have to follow the trends. True. Yeah, and then impute your own style to it. Mm. So I'll say um, draping. So draping. Who is that? <laughs> Dra Dra <laughs> yeah, draping is I'm the use older. of blush as contour. Yeah, ah. yeah. Like you can see your face. If you guys can see your face right now. Mm -hmm. So it's more of um, blush than contour. Mm -hmm. So you have to really know how to do it to do it Properly. Properly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't just pack blush and <laughs> yeah. So yeah, in the Middle East, um people or women love blushes a lot. True. Yes. The cheeks are always popping. Always popping. Always flustered. Yeah. So, and you can um, blind it for the heat and say, Oh, I'm flustered. <laughs> uh -huh. So yeah. So this is called um draping. Okay. The use of blush. blush. Yeah. Instead of Instead contour. Of contour. Right? So contour yeah. is slightly fading. No, it's no, just a trend. No, no. it's yeah, it's actually a trend, but mm. it's more of and you can also you're you're also using contouring and bronzing, mm. but it's more of blush. blush. Yes, Got it. there's also another one I've seen right now, and mm, I think I'm maybe one year late. The stoning around the eyes that one and is, the drawing, the artist. That one is Gen Z makeup. Oh, okay, Gen Z <laughs> things. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I don't know those and things. yeah, we I also that do patience. that because I mean. Trends, true. Yeah, you have so to keep up with the times. Keep up, yeah. You have to keep up with that. True. That's that. That brings us back to mm. you being a vasta makeup artist because imagine you don't know how to do all those. True, stuff. and then someone asks you, "Yeah, what are you gonna do?" True, true. So obviously, as you mentioned, um, being in Dubai, the weather here is special, for lack of a better word. Is there any secret or tip you would like to share with us as to how we can achieve a lasting makeup look? Okay, so um, every skin type deserves a lasting makeup look. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be focusing more on oily okay. skin because... That's the shameless <laughs> one. <Yeah>. Correct. <laughs> it's the shameless one. It is. Yeah, so um, if you want to like control your oils, you have to start exactly from the skin prep as well. Mm. It all begins from the skin prep. Okay. So you have to get a moisturizer mm. that is oil-free to begin with. Mm. Yeah. A primer that is mattifying. Mm -hmm. And then a setting spray. Mm -hmm. Most likely the, a setting spray that um, has mattifying properties. Mm -hmm. And finally, a fixing spray. So after setting, there's another one. Yes, there's another one, a fixing spray. Um, that is like the last thing that you need to like apply onto your face. I'm a villager. <laughs> I've been finishing at setting. No. I didn't know about fixing. Set setting spray doesn't really hold your makeup. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, but if you use the ones that have mattifying properties, mm. yes, it can hold for a, a couple while. of years. Mm. But fixing spray would 
hold your makeup in place. And it also has waterproof, smudge proof okay. properties. Yeah. Oh, the likes nice. of um one size, Cryolan, um, mm. Melanie Mills. Mm. And then there's this odd new one. It's a Nigerian brand. I have to sell my Please. Nigerian market. It's the So Pro um um seal it spray. It's very, very good. Nice. Yes. It's true because a lot of my male friends they've said they'll stop hugging me because I'm always <laughs> leaving makeup on their shirts. <laughs> so at least with this fixing it can hold it. Up. Yes, okay. yes, it, it That's will. It. Mm. Wisdom. Yeah. We are not giving you any more tips and tricks. Come Wait for class. master class. Yes. Wait for master class. Yes. <laughs> uh, last but not least, now that we've looked back at the journey and we've celebrated where you started and where you've reached right now, are there any names that come to mind that have been very instrumental throughout this entire process? Yeah. Um so many mm -hmm. and first of all i want to apologize in advance to anyone that i cannot remember right now but mm. i just want to say thank you guys for being part of my journey oh. yeah i would like to first of all thank god Facts. for helping me because it's been god to be honest mm. this is not like the entire story mm. but i'm really glad to be sharing this and god helped me to like Keep on. Keep going, yeah. And the story is not over. It's not over. We're still, we're, we've not even started. Mm. Yeah. So I'll, first of all, I also like to um appreciate my husband Aww. because, yes, then back then it was my boyfriend and he helped me with money that I used to buy in buying makeup products. Aww. Yeah. And so. you know, men never understand that. <laughs> So I just want to say thank you, babe, for always Aww. being there, for always being supportive. Aww. Yeah, and my family, my um, my siblings, my parents, mm. they've been, really been supportive of this journey. Mm. And my friends in school, mm. there were times where I missed classes because of makeup appointments. <laughs> they held it down for me. Yeah, they always encouraged me, mm. brought me back to study. Mm. I just really want to appreciate them. And um, I also want to appreciate um, House of Mini, Yetunde. She might not remember this, but when my makeup box was stolen, okay, I won her giveaway, and oh. and it helped me back up. I just want to appreciate her so much, and to the partners of makeup um, back in Nigeria. Mm. The likes of BM Pro, mm. um, Bing Pei Onakoya, mm. um, Anita Browse, mm. Beyonce, and um, my boss in Abuja, Genevera Beauty. I just want to say thank you guys for always inspiring us, mm. inspiring me personally. Mm. Yeah, and um, I want to say thank you to me. Yeah. I was waiting for that one. I was waiting for that one. Come on. I yes. want to say thank you to me for mm -hmm. always pushing, mm -hmm. for always um, being resilient. Because we need the being robbed. That one, especially the one you said before you came to Dubai, I would have yeah. given up. Yeah, so I've, I've had so many experiences that would make me want to give up on this journey, mm -hmm. on being a makeup artist, but... Mm -hmm. I kept pushing. Do you know, I want to also thank you. You know why? Because I feel like I'm going through a transition in my life right now. I've been in, in employment for a very long time. And I just feel like I'm done making money for people. You've got this. And looking at you, for a very long time, the Dubai journey was always coming here, looking for a job, going under unemployment visa, and then you hustle in employment. But now I found this thing that is my voice and I enjoy it. It's like therapy for me. And having people like you who have done it and taken the risk and are doing it and still surviving, irrespective of all the madness that comes with it, trust me, you are also an inspiration. So I want to thank you for showing me that it is not impossible. No, it's there's, there's nothing like impossible. Yeah, even impossible says I'm possible. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you for that as well, okay? Yeah. All right, so you heard it here first. Um, the page, I'm going to take it and give you one last glimpse to my beautiful looks, is Flair by Winnie across all platforms. When you go on her Instagram page, there's a link tree that will guide you through her website, her WhatsApp, everything, yeah, everything. that you need to know. That's your one-stop shop for all things Flair by Winnie, right? 
any last parting shots, Winnie? Yes. Um, I just want to say that um, wherever you are at, whatever journey you are going through, whatever pain you are going through, just always remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, mm. and that your dreams are valid. Mm. You always have to believe in yourself. That's the most important thing. People will come and go, but you would always be here. So you have to be your number one cheerleader. Mm. So when I look back at my journey, I only see progress, improvement, and a person that says giving up is not an option. Mm. We're, we're, we're going forward. Forward yes. ever. Backwards we're not, yeah. never. We're not where we want to be right now. Okay. But the future is bright. Always. You need a pair of shades. Exactly. <laughs> it's too bright. It's too bright. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we just, we're going to let let it be in God's hands. Stay tuned. You had it yeah. here first. Keep in touch. Flair by Winnie is the page. Follow her progress. We move. Yes. <laughs> this has been Dubai Diastories. My name is Yvette Hikuyu with the glam today. Yes. And until the next time I come your way, stay true, stay you. Let me go and take this, my beautiful face somewhere so that people can see me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>